And Iran has now launched strikes inside Pakistan. Two children have died in the attack, while three others have been injured. Islamabad says it is an attack on its sovereignty. According to Iranian state media, the targeted bases were located in a region that's known as Khosabs in Pakistan's Balochistan province, where the two countries share a sparsely populated border of nearly 1,000 kilometers. This area is also considered to be home to one of the largest bases in, on the militant, for the militant group. According to Pakistan's foreign ministry, the illegal airstrike by Iran will have serious consequences, adding that it summoned Tehran's top diplomat in Islamabad to protest the unprovoked violation of its airspace. The attack comes as Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahayn met Pakistan's caretaker Prime Minister Anwar Kakkar on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos. Moreover, the attack on the group, that's the Jaish al dum comes as it is known to carry out attacks on Iranian security forces in the border region with Pakistan. Now, the group is a Sunni militant group founded in 2012 that largely operates in Pakistan. Let's shift our focus now. Kyiv says at least 17 people have been injured after twin S-300 Russian missiles struck the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. Tuesday's raid was caused, it's caused severe damage to residential buildings and areas. Scrambling rescuers were seen sifting through the rubble to find the injured. And as per the regional police, the assault happened in areas with no military infrastructure. The first strike struck a roadway while on the other hand, a three-story apartment building close to the building, a fire also broke out on two floors of hospital, which was later extinguished. The city's mayor has said that 12 people, including two women, have been hospitalized. Earlier on Tuesday, at least 3,000 people were made to evacuate the city's front owing to Russian aggression. Just last week, in fact, a hotel was struck in the city, which injured at least 11 people. Meanwhile, Washington's military assistance for Ukraine has dried up. U.S. President Joe Biden will table talks with congressional leaders over continuing aid for Ukraine later today. Now, as you know, the Republicans have blocked $60 billion of aid over the Biden administration's handling of the border migrant crisis. And during a presser, French President Emmanuel Macron said that France will deliver 40 long-range missiles to Ukraine. This week, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky met key U.S. officials at the Davos Forum to discuss aid. The leader also met with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. Kremlin dismissed the talks and rejected any plan that does not let Russia keep the conquered territory. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.